This meeting is being recorded. Welcome. Welcome to Jamel Energetic and Spiritual Services on Facebook, the Hourglass Transmissions on Facebook, the Hourglass Transmissions on YouTube. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What a day. The sky is blue, but the wind is blowing, and we had power outages here. I hope things are going well where you're living. So today we have an interesting uh, theme and song, and it'll be interesting how it all ties together, but it always does. Oh, I forgot to say hello. I'm Kalei. Good morning. The theme for today is the fullness of your heart. And the song is Delta Dawn by Tanya Tucker. Well, what we do here is I introduce the theme and the song, and then I go on to do a heart coherence. I also have pulled an oracle card, and I show you that, and then I do a channeling. So now we'll go into heart co coherence. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in and hold for the count of three and exhale with a sigh. Ah. Take a deep breath in and hold for the count of three, and exhale with the side. <sighs> you know, a good release this morning, what I'm getting would be laughter. So we're going to do some spontaneous, spontaneous laughter. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, good. That helps to release. Now to settle back. Settle back into a period of silence. Ah. <sighs> Let's count backwards from 15 to 1. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. <sighs> Take a breath in and send that breath through the portal of your heart. Today we have unicorns that we're going to keep, be able to experience. So there is a unicorn for each of you. Find your unicorn and mount the unicorn. And we are going to go traveling, traveling to the center of the earth, going down through a portal, taking us down, down, down to the center of the earth, to the heart of Gaia. And when we reach that, we dismount and allow our feet to touch the heart of Gaia, sending energy up through our feet, up through our legs, up through all our chakras filling all 
our body, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies with the energy of Mother Earth. And this energy is going all the way to the cells of your body. Finding yourself moving towards the crystal bed and sensing that energy coming into you from the crystal bits, filling your physical body, your mental body, your emotional body, and your spiritual body, as well as filling every cell of your body with the energy of the crystal bits. Give reverence to Mother Earth and to the crystal beds. Give thanks, appreciation, love, and gratitude for this experience. Find your way back to your unicorn. Such a beautiful unicorn. Looks back at you, acknowledging, are you ready? Are you ready to go? And then you find yourself coming back out of the portal, out from the heart of Gaia, back into the universe, up to the central sun. Pause. The unicorn allows you to pause and feel the energy filling you from the central sun, filling your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual bodies with the energy of the central sun, filling every cell of your body with the energy of the central sun. Oh, take a breath. Now, Allow the unicorn to take you on a trip and finding yourself going through the universe to a different star system and coming through a portal that brings you to the place of the unicorns. Look at how beautiful, how beautiful this is. And see, you're coming to a field where there are other unicorns all around. Feel the energy, feel the love. Feel the welcoming of your presence there. Ah. Time to say goodbye and thank you for the experience. Knowing that you can choose to come here at any time you want. Coming back out through the portal, back towards Earth. Finding the unicorn, bringing back, bringing you back to the place you started, to your home, to the place you were sitting when we started this. Dismount the unicorn. Stroke the unicorn's neck and give thanks and appreciation. And find the unicorn taking off. Feel your heart expand with the energy that you've received. Filling your room, your house, your place of business, your car your city, your state, your province, your country, your continent, the Northern Hemisphere, the Southern Hemisphere, 
and spreading this energy all through the quantum field with love, light, joy, peace, and harmony. Expanding that energy up into the emerald grid, which goes around and circulates the earth and magnifying the energy of the love, light, joy, peace, harmony back down to earth, back down to all the sentient beings on earth. Now moving up into the golden grid and sending that energy out into the universe, out to the different star systems, out to the unicorn. Love, light, joy, peace, harmony. Love, light, joy, peace, harmony. Oh, allow the fullness of your heart. Allow that resonance. Feel it. Enjoy it. Savor it. Namaste. And not only do we have unicorns, we have a card from the Mermaids and Dolphins card deck, Marine Virtue. And this is the card that I pulled for you today. And it says, Healing Hearts, you are a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. Deep within your heart, you're aware of your healing abilities. Perhaps you've received feedback from others about the way your words, your touch have helped them heal. By drawing this card, you, your urge to take healing work to the next level. You're also asked to purify your diet and thoughts so that higher frequencies of healing energy can flow through you. By opening up to the next level, you'll notice a shift in the people or situations that come to you for help. You may find a number of healing opportunities increasing where your clients may display a greater, greater understanding of spirituality. Heaven wishes to support you your healing words completely. If you'd like to further your education, work or in a healing center or increase your income, just ask. Just ask and then be open to receive. Okay, let's see what message from spirit we have today. Good morning. This healing, this healing work is not only for others on the physical plane, but for you and healing through your ancestral lineage and you're Akash. The Akash is like a database of all your lives, your past lives. You have an opportunity to do healing in the ancestral lineage and your cash. In doing so, this healing is applied to all ancestors. There may be programming, conditioning, belief systems that have carried through for many lifetimes. 
And in this process, nobody in the past has had the courage to make the change, to allow things to be different. They just continue to carry on the ways of their grandparents and their parents. And then they pass this on to their children as a doctrine. This is how you were to behave. This is how you were to believe. This is how, this is how, this is how. And then it comes to you. And you question why. You question why it has to be this way. And doing that questioning, you might decide to take the courage to do something different. You are applauded by the ancestor because they did not have the courage to do what you're doing now. We like the song, Delta Dawn. We suggest that you go and research it about what it's all about, why it was written. When you have somebody in your life that gets lost, and then you may tend to take on some responsibility for their actions. We should say the word guilt might come in. They do not want you to take that on. It wasn't your responsibility. It wasn't your choices. They made the choices on their own. You do have the ability to talk to them, to maybe clarify what was going on with them, even though they are no longer on the earth plane. Ask to have a conversation. You might hear in your mind that they don't want to talk. But you can pursue that and ask why. There is still choice on the other side. But you will find that there Remembrance, their lessons may be different now. They have had an opportunity to revisit situations and realize that they could have made a different choice. And they would not want you to carry any of these burdens. No, these burdens can affect you physically. And why would you want to carry burdens of somebody else? You have enough to carry on your own without carrying those of others. So we would ask you to release any burdens that you're carrying for other people. Open your heart and send love to them and send love to yourself. Send love to yourself for all those mistakes 
all of those choices that may have not been the best. Send love and understanding that you were just learning. You were doing the best you can in this situation. Yes, it was a learning opportunity just for you. So take a breath. It is the dawning of a new day. It is a dawning wherever you are. Look across the landscape. And you might have that song come into your mind. Yes, there's always a new day. Release that that no longer serves you. Release and let it go. And it may take a number of times with that focus. But choose not to take on, not to take back all of that that you have released. Allow it to be gone. <sighs> take a breath. Remember laughter. Laughter can break the chain, the chain of the thoughts and emotions. It can help release. It can help open up your heart and let the love flow. Yes, we love you. And we are always here for you. Sit quietly and ask for their help. You can even have a conversation. We love you. We honor you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. I wish you the best day ever. And if you have an opportunity, Google Jamel.com and look at my website and look at all the healing opportunities I have to offer, as well as you can have your own personal channeling. Consider it. I love you.